Hey guys, Coach Becca coming to you from Fitness Inspiration Inc. in Memphis, Tennessee uh, with our Week 19 Getting Your Mind Right uh, Mental Rep video blog. So for those of y'all who um, might be tuning in for the first time, hey, thanks for checking us out. Um, in the beginning of the year, we came up with a theme known as Getting Your Mind Right. And the reason we came up with this theme and I do these blogs, uh, mental rep blogs every week is because we've learned that, you know, if we don't train and condition our internal self, that emotional and spiritual um, and mental self, as much as we train and condition our physical, then there's always going to be a gap between where we are and where we want to be because it goes so much deeper than just working out or making the right food choices, okay? So each week we do a mental rep exercise that's going to help train and condition our internal self to get us into world-class shape. All right, so this week's mental rep exercise is titled Sleep. And rest and what do I mean by that well you know those of us that want to improve our health those of us that want to lose fat that want to build muscle those of us that want to have more energy that want to feel better um, that want to get off the medications for blood pressure and whatnot yes exercise and nutrition is a part of it but sleep is the foundation that's gonna help us perform at our best. It's gonna allow us to um, exist in each day at our highest levels, at our best levels. You know, if you think about how you feel after the last time you got a good night's rest, how rested, you know, re-energized, how clear thinking, um, ready to get up and just rock out the day after a good night's sleep. Yet, you know, very few, um, if any of us, make sleep and getting adequate sleep a priority. Um, you know, and hardly any of us make it a regular practice or think about how crucial sleep is to our health, to our performance, to our weight, to our mood. And why is it so important, right? Well, as we talked about before, after a good night's rest, you feel energized, you're ready to take on the day, you know, everything's refreshed. When you sleep, your body is in full recovery mode. You know, your brain is refreshed, you're able to think better. Your muscles rebuild so that you can look and feel better and perform. You know, uninterrupted sleep boosts growth hormone and testosterone, which will help you recover quicker, feel better, have more energy, building muscle tissue, and when you don't sleep, check out what happens. All right, so you know research shows that people who sleep four hours or less per night are 70% more likely to be overweight. Um, and those same sleep deprived people are more likely to overeat. You know, so it's a vicious cycle, but it can be broken. And some of the other uh, negative consequences that come from not sleeping enough you know, it increases uh, the levels of cortisol, which is a stress hormone, you know, that turns your body into a storage room for fat. A lack of sleep is associated with poor metabolism. We put so much emphasis on working out and exercise and making the right food choices to, you know, boost our metabolism, keep it up. Well, guys, sleep is a major part of a healthy and optimal and booming metabolism. Um, a lack of sleep is associated with bad lipid profiles, higher blood pressure, you know, advanced um, adrenal fatigue, less muscle, and a greater chance of suffering from obesity. So we have all the reasons in the world right here, proof, research shown as to why we should get enough sleep and what can happen if we don't. All right, so what exactly is adequate sleep? Is there a magic number? You know, no, not really. And you know, age does vary. Um, let's go back to what research shows. First of all, not all uh, sleep is equal, and for a minimum, we want to say six hours. Most research says that seven to eight is ideal, okay? You know, and you can get too much sleep, so you don't want to make that a habit either. Every once in a while, sleeping in, maybe getting a good nine or ten hours is good. However, you don't want to make that a habit because it can also have, you know, um, a negative impact. Um, and it's not so much just the quantity, but it's the quality, you know, we want to have uninterrupted sleep. I work with a lot of people who talk about their struggle to fall asleep, and then once they fall asleep, they wake up. And there could be a number of reasons that that happens, which I'll touch on in a second. However, we also not only want to look at the hours, the quantity, but the quality. And a little bit more um, detail into what I mean by that. It means sleeping through the night with minimal disruptions. Spending time in REM sleep, REM, you know, the restorative part of the sleep where the dreams can occur. Um, and 
some of the reasons that people may have interrupted sleep, okay, it can come down, do you have a TV in your room? Um, did you eat late? Sometimes if we eat late, you know, our body's trying to digest, our body's working to break down that food, and it can make it a little bit more challenging for us to sleep. Have we had caffeine? Um, is, is there a medication we're taking a little bit late in the day that could, you know, keep us up? Um, let's see. So there's a wide variety of things that could be going on. Make an effort to you know, educate yourself on healthy sleep practices, things that you can do to set yourself up and your room up you know, for optimal sleep. Temperature is a factor. Um, you know, take the TV out, get rid of any distractions. It is a quiet and serene place for you to rest, recover, and rejuvenate. No distractions, no technology. I know it sounds crazy. Um, so a couple of ideas on how maybe you could uh, upgrade your sleep. Acupuncture is awesome. So consider that. Um, guided imagery. Um, I can think of Bell Ruth and Apperstack, and then there's John Kabat Zinn. There are guided imagery and meditations out there that you can play um, to put you to sleep. And it doesn't have to be on an iPhone. I guess that is technology. But if you're you're using something like that, it's it's okay. If you need to practice a meditation or an imagery that is designed to help you know, um, impact our sleep waves, then that's totally okay. It's worth a try. Um, remove the TV from your bedroom, like I mentioned. Sleep in complete darkness. Um, put lavender on your pillows. Tons of ways for us to optimize our sleep, to upgrade our sleep, to improve the quality and the quantity, and take one more measure to help us get closer to achieving our best. We're working out, we're making the right nutritional um, choices. Sleep is the foundation underneath all of that, guys. We can't work out and we're not gonna eat optimally if we don't have enough sleep. I just told you, you know, the stress, when we, we don't get enough sleep, cortisol, Bam! It just explodes and it creates a storage room for fat in our bodies. So please prioritize your rest time. I know it's not easy. Not easy for me. So I don't think it's easy for anybody. However, it can be done. It's a matter of getting your mind right, making the decision, and then I always like to say 1% wins, you know? 1%. So do one thing today that's going to improve your sleep. Okay, uh, maybe you could take the TV out. And then tomorrow, what's another 1% thing you could do? You could go to bed a couple, try to go to bed a couple minutes early. The next day, you could put some of that lavender on your pillow. So try to do one thing, a 1% improvement each day that's gonna help you um, get optimal rest and recovery. That's gonna take you to the next level. All right, so Becca Marino, Fitness Inspiration Inc. Hope you enjoyed today's um, Getting Your Mind Right Mental Rep. Uh, we will be back next week, but between now and then, Make it a best of me day, believe it, bring it, achieve it, and get some awesome sleep. Take care. Bye-bye.